In August 2024, Microsoft announced the deprecation of their Arduino extension for Visual Studio Code, a decision that caught the Arduino community by surprise, leaving many Arduino Visual Studio Code developers in the dark. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and build a new extension from the ground up. And today, I'm excited to share it with all of you. This is the official release of the Arduino Maker Workshop extension for Visual Studio Code. And in this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started. There's no need to install the Arduino IDE or set up the Arduino CLI manually. The CLI is included with the extension. It uses the official Arduino CLI under the hood, ensuring maximum compatibility with your projects. To install the extension, just click on the extensions icons in Visual Studio Code and search for Arduino Maker. Look for Arduino Maker Workshop, then click on it and the install button and you are ready to dive in. Later in the video, I will tell you briefly how I built it and how you can contribute to its maintenance and evolution. Once installed, you'll see the Arduino Maker Workshop icon in the activity bar. It opens a menu for quick access to all the features. The Maker Workshop Home is your command center. It opens a tab in the editor area where you can manage your entire Arduino environment. Let's start by creating a new sketch. For this example, I'll choose DSP32 Dev module as my board. In the project home, you can see your currently selected board and the port for uploading code. If no board is connected, only COM1 will be listed. Once you connect your board, it automatically detects the correct port. Alternatively, you can select a port manually using the drop-down menu and refresh the ports if it is not detected automatically when you connect your microcontroller. You configure your board options by clicking the board configuration icon on the sidebar. Here you can customize a variety of options depending on your selected board. Each board has its own configuration options. The library manager allows you to install and keep your libraries up to date. Here you see all the libraries currently installed on your computer. You can delete the library or install a previous version of a library. The More Info link will get you to the library's repository. Here I can see that some of my libraries have newer versions. I can install the latest version by clicking this action button. I can also see libraries that I have installed through a zip file. Here I have just one, an audio library for the ESP32. The Not Installed section allows you to install new libraries. You search for the library first and install it. You can expand the section of the library to see the description and get more information to make sure it's the library that you need. At the top you can select the library that you have downloaded as a zip file to install manually. It will appear in the zip install section. If you find this video helpful so far, don't forget to give it a like. Your support means the world to me. Consider fueling this extension's development by buying me a coffee. Every contribution helps keep creativity flowing. You can open examples provided by the libraries you have installed. Here, let's open this one. The Boards Manager allows you to see the boards currently installed. Here I have the AVR boards and the ESP32 boards. You can expand to see a description and install previous versions. The updatable section will show you boards that have new versions available. The not installed section will show you all of the boards platform available for the Arduino framework. You can search for a specific board and install it. 
You can also add boards using URL if they are not in the official Arduino registry. Let's install the Pico boards this way. Now let's compile our sketch. The output is shown as the Arduino CLI is performing the compilation. Once it's done, you are ready to upload your code. The serial monitor opens automatically. It's another extension included when you install the Arduino Maker Workshop. To change the current board, go to board selection and expand the board type and search for your specific board. You can also change the current board in Project Home by clicking the pencil icon. You can close the Arduino Maker Workshop tab and look at your files, and you will still be able to compile and upload your code. The main sketch file does not need to be in your current tab to do this. Simply use the commands in the status bar. You can even cancel the compilation process. That's nice if you spot an error in your code and you know the compilation will fail. Let's go back to the Arduino Maker Workshop Home. Keep an eye out for yellow dots on the Boards Manager or Library Manager icons. The Indicate updates are available. Staying up to date is just a click away. You can also use a dedicated hardware programmer when uploading your code. Let's change our current board for a Nano. I can now select a different hardware programmer to use when uploading the code. If you're interested in contributing to this project, head over to my repository and clone it to start submitting pull requests. Check out the project section to see the list of features currently in development or planned for future updates. The extension is built using TypeScript, and the Maker Workshop Home is a web view created with Vue.js and Vuetify for the user interface. If you have expertise in these technologies, your contributions are more than welcome. Join us and help shape the future of the Arduino Maker Workshop extension. Now it's time to bring your ideas to life, so fire up Visual Studio Code. Install the Arduino Maker Workshop extension, explore the features, and start building your next amazing project. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.